common problem founders face is having too many mentors or advisors. Now this might seem strange, but it results in what's called mentor whiplash. And that's when you have so many smart people telling you so many different things, pieces of conflicting information. And if you're not a smart founder, you can spend too much time in the wrong meetings talking about the wrong things and miss out on valuable, actionable information. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. So how do you avoid this? First of all, it's really important to know what you need to know and know what you don't know. Avoid being, avoid generic mentorship, avoid being paired with mentors. Seek out mentors that have specific advice and experience that you need. And then when you reach out to them, be really specific. You say, hey John, you know, I really love how you've raised money recently. Can you tell me the process that you went through in doing this. Understand that nobody knows your startup as well as you do. If you've done all the hard work, if you learnt the right way, you have all the data points. A mentor or advisor is just going to give you a few more data points and it's up to you to look at them all and decide which action your startup takes. I am still top dog in a fairly large pond. Another really important thing to do is make sure that you follow up with your mentors and advisors. Tell them how you've actioned, what they talked about, or didn't action. They'll respect you massively for this because not many people do it. So just a quick recap, to avoid mentor whiplash, be specific when choosing your mentors and about the advice that you're gonna get from them. And then remember that you know your startup as well as anyone. So just take a mentor's advice as a few data points and you make decisions based upon all the data that you receive. Ha, ha, ha.